welcome back to On Point. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please hit that subscribe button with the bell icon so you get notifications for future content. Today I'll be going over the Bowtech Revolt X, which is the 33 inch axle axle flagship bow for Bowtech. They also have the Revolt, which is 30 inches. But what's interesting about this bow, it's kind of building off of the Realm series. So if I was going to describe this bow just in a couple words, it'd be like a third gen Realm with the Reckoning cam lock that you found last year. So they brought some technology over from last year that you didn't find on the hunting bows and uh, are really kind of making it a very tunable, easy, easy to shoot bow. What I like about this bow is that it is 33 inches axle to axle, but they went with a six and a half inch brace height and they went with a seven and a quarter inch brace height on their 30 inch axle to axle bow. So they're trying to come out with a very small, compact, very shootable bow. And then they want to come out with a little bit longer and a little higher performance bow. So this will hit a lot of uh, a lot of guys' favorite specs here. It's a six and a half inch brace, 340 IBO, comes in 50, 60, and 70 pound limbs, and it comes in right about four and a half pounds. So this bow, similar things from last year's bow, you're still gonna have the dampeners on the bottom. The really the new thing is, is that they changed a little bit of the riser pattern here, and then also the cam locks. So if you're wanting to start working on your own bow, you don't have a bow press, and you really wanna have an easy to tune bow, and you kind of want to get your feet wet with the tuning process, this would be a really good bow to start on, uh, mainly because you can change the, the position of the cams to help with your tune. So, all right guys, so let's go ahead and shove some arrows through the chronograph here. I've got three arrows. I've got a 458 grain arrow, a 535 grain arrow, and a 640 grain arrow. And again, the bow is set at uh, 60 pounds, 29 inches on comfort mode. And uh, we'll shoot for, uh, the lightest arrow first at 458. And that is 255 with a 458 grain arrow. So here goes the 535. Two thirty-nine, and here goes the six hundred and forty grain arrow. At two eighteen six forty, so. So final thoughts, uh, pretty smooth, but most of them are at 60 pounds. Didn't have a lot of hand shock. Uh, really, really a sweetheart of a shooting bow. I like the specs on it, and I like the performance for the speeds that it's getting. Um, 70 pounds will tell me a lot more about this bow, though, because it's going to be um, what most people are going to be shooting. Bowtech likes to send out the 60-pound bows, from what I understand, so everybody can shoot them and see how they feel, which, you know, for the guys that want to shoot 70s, they kind of have to either order them or wait a little bit longer for the 70-pounders. But um, outside of that, be sure to give this bow a test. This is going to be a really nice shooting bow this year. I would like this bow over the 30 inch axle axle based off of what I like as a shooter, but make sure you shoot them all and shoot what's best for you. So if you haven't yet, be sure to check out On Point Podcast, available on all the podcast platforms. And uh, we go over bow reviews, we go over shooting tactics, shooting tips, we go over arrow building, tons of stuff. So if you love to dive into it, if you're wanting to learn, it's gonna be a great podcast for you to listen to. Over 80 episodes into it, and we're just getting started. So be sure to check that out. That's On Point Podcast. You can see the onpointpodcast.com for links to more content.